Today we are going to be looking at the installation of the Thunderbolt EX3 card. Now I've got the guide right here because the card has already been installed in my computer. So there's a couple of things. I've been having loads of problems installing this card. And when I first started out, I mean, I think I, I struggled for like a week or maybe two weeks, which is seems to be the norm when trying to install this card. So once I got it installed and I got it working, I thought to myself, maybe what I should do is put together a short little video that will help other, uh, other users of the Thunderbolt EX3 card. Thunderbolt EX3, yeah. The anybody else who's using this card so that uh, when you do you know, so if you do come across this video hopefully you won't have you won't waste hours and hours trying to get this thing installed so i've i've consulted quite a few youtube videos i've consulted the Thun the, the the asus website and yeah there's there isn't as much information on this card as you would need <laughs> it to be so first of all, when installing the card, uh, so there's, if you look at the at the guide here, it shows you exactly how you need to install the card, right? Firstly, before I, before I carry on, if you aren't sure of what you are doing, if you aren't sure, if you don't know anything about installing cards, if you don't know anything about the insides of a computer, I recommend that you do not continue any further with this video and that you rather take it to a local PC shop or to a friend that knows something about computers and let them install it. They, you can, if you do things incorrectly, you can destroy your computer or you can seriously injure yourself because on the inside of your computer there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on so you need to you need to thoroughly understand what's going on so if you know what PCIe slots are if you know what option cards are if you know about the the thunderbolt header that is on your computer if you understand all of these things then fine then you can continue but if you don't know what you're doing then rather stop don't watch this video any further take your computer to someone that knows what they're doing because you can either get hurt if you do things incorrectly or you can damage your computer so i'm gonna assume that you know something about computers you you know you know how to upgrade them you know how to maybe build them maybe but at the very least, you know how to upgrade them. You know quite a bit about the inside of your board. You know how, where to find your Thunderbolt header. You know what the PCIe slot is. I don't, I'm not going to go through explaining each and every single one of the concepts that you need in order to get this thing done. So if you do not know what you are doing, please stop. Stop this video right now. Switch it off and you know, take your computer to someone that, that, that will be able to, to get this installed for you. If, however, you do know what you are doing, you have built several computers, or maybe you just know the inside of your computer really well because you fiddled around on the inside, then fine, then you can continue. But please note, if you do damage something, I will take absolutely zero responsibility for that. You do this at your own peril or for your own benefit. All right. So having said that, having gotten that disclaimer out of the way, the guide that we have is this thing is very, very sparse on information. I mean, they tell you some of the things that you need to know, like for instance, if you have a look at this, it will tell you that this is the card. This is what the card looks like. That's the Thunderbolt header on the card. On your motherboard, you will also have a Thunderbolt header. Yay, they give you that information. How very nice of them. Then, something else that's really useful that they do is they show you how you should install the card. PCIe slot, you get that in there. Everything is fine. Fantastical, right? Right. The next thing is that you need to, there's a cable that they provide you that allows you to connect the header on your card with the header on the motherboard. Fantastic. They show you how to even get that sorted out, the orientation of the thing. It's very simple to install. You can't, you can't install the cable incorrectly. 
if you do, then well, you've you've broken your your motherboard. Well done. If not, then your motherboard is fine, and the Thunderbolt card should also still be fine. The next thing to do would be to actually look at what you need to do after you have physically installed the card. One more thing that you will need, and I'll, I'll insert the photograph of of uh, of the Thunderbolt slot, and what you will see. Right next to the Thunderbolt slot, there is a set of numbers and there's a, a set of characters and numbers. Uh, on the slot that I've installed my card on is called the PCIe X16-2 underscore 2. So that's the slot that I've installed my card on. And so you need to take note of the, the, of the characters because you are going to need that when you set up the BIOS. All right, so this is the first part where you actually need to install the hardware. Also, let me, I think I've forgotten this. Please ensure that all power cables have been thoroughly disconnected, that the power to your computer has also been shut off, lest you should somehow accidentally electrocute yourself. So I hope you haven't done any of that. If you have not, if, if you have not switched the power off, and if you have not disconnected the power cable from your, uh, the, the power supply, then please do so now before you install the card so everything that we've spoken about you need to do that before you install the card so before you install the card please make sure that you switched it off once you switched it off then follow those steps maybe i should have had started the video the other way around but it's fine i trust that like i said if you don't know what you're doing then don't install the card if you do know what you're doing then you would have had known that you should have had switched off the computer you should have made sure that it's completely you know there's no power flowing through there and then install your card once you've done that take note of the which pci slot that you've that you've installed it on because you will need that for the next uh the next steps all right so now let's look at the bios configuration so under the advanced menu you need to go to the Thunderbolt Intel Thunderbolt option Now when you come here for the first time This is what the screen will look like the Intel Thunderbolt option will be selected to off You need to set that to on What you then need to do next is you need to ensure that every well you can Switch on whatever options you want, but the ones that you absolutely need to have switched on is the Add in card support, the add in card look, yeah, the add in card support. Once you have the add in card support set up, you then will need to select whether you are going to on the add in card location group, you will then specify whether you will be looking at the north bridge or the south bridge. Once you have selected that, you will then need to select your add in card location. Now when you have a look at the north bridge, you will see that there are several options available. If you change your add-in card location to your south bridge, you will see the slots that are available for your, your south bridge. Remember earlier on I said that you would need to take note of the exact slot that you put the, the that you installed your Thunderbolt card into. So that is the slot that you need to select. So you need to go and check either under your south bridge or under your north bridge to determine where these, where, which one of these slots uh, this, uh, the, the card has been installed in. Now if like me, you happen to not take note of what exactly was on the motherboard, you can then go to the tool menu under GPU post and there you will see all of the all of the, the Thunderbolt, all of the, and in the, under the GPU post menu option, you will see all of the PCIe slots that are available to you. Now you can have a look at this and determine which one of these slots you, you actually installed the card on. So if you didn't take note of what the exact name was, the exact identifier was for, for that slot that you that you installed it on, you can have a quick look at your at your motherboard again and determine which one of these slots you, you inserted this into. So maybe you can't see the you know now that you've installed the card you can't exactly see the exact numbering but you can see the relative position 
uh, of your PCI slot to the, the, the cards or the slots, the, the, you can see the relative position of the PCIe slot that you installed the card on based on whatever else you see on your system. So in my particular instance, I installed the card on the PCIe X16 underscore 2 slot that's the slot that i used you might have installed it under something else so for me i know that that's the, the card that i that i installed it on and if i want to know exactly what the name of that particular slot is then i can just have a look at that and go back to the advanced menu and then make sure that my add-in card location points to the exact points to the correct slot so as you can see here the the slot isn't under my north bridge so it will be under the south bridge so and that's the only menu that's the only option that i have available what i will what you should then do is after you've set that up you then need to go click exit and save changes and reset and allow your computer to boot back into windows now let me just go over this again the things that you need absolutely need to ensure that you have set up correctly firstly ensure that your intel thunderbolt technology that this option is on that will enable all of the other options so if you're just seeing that then it means that this is there's a problem so once you've set this thing correctly you set that intel thunderbolt technology uh, switch correct then you need to go to your add-in card support ensure that you've enabled that your add in card location group make sure that that po points to the the correct bus whether it's the south bus or the north bus and then ensure that your add in card location points to the exact pcie slot in which you have installed your card once you've got those things set up then your card should basically work so after you've done this you go you click exit Save changes and reset. I'm not going to do that because my my BIOS has already been set up correctly. And then we will, yeah. Then once you've done that, you can then reboot your machine, and that should get you all set up into Windows. Okay, so once you have installed the card, like I said, there's a couple of things you can either. You can either install the drivers before you install the card or you can install the drivers after you've installed the card. For me, it didn't matter which way it went, but the rec the supply the manufacturer recommends that you first install the drivers and then install the card. So, yeah, maybe I'm going through this video a little bit backwards, but it's so by now what you should have done is you should have had the card installed. Your computer should be all uh, nicely packaged together again and you should have had switch the power on once you've switched the power on then the card should just work if it doesn't work then it means that you need to do some troubleshooting so as i mentioned there's there's a couple of things that there's a couple of things that that you need to ensure that you have done correctly number one that you have installed the card in the correct in the correct PCI, PCIe slot that you have connected the Thunderbolt header cable to the card and your motherboard the Thunderbolt header on your motherboard once you've done that you then need to get into your BIOS and you need to get your BIOS setting correctly make sure that the Thunderbolt Intel Thunderbolt option is turned on so that you can see all of the other options for the card and then you also need to ensure that your AIC location group and AIC location are set correctly the AIC location group will be either North Bridge or South Bridge and the look that's the location group that will be either North Bridge or South Bridge and then the the add-in card location that will be the very slot that you have installed the card on so if all of that has been done correctly then the card should just work if it does not work then it could mean that either your card is broken or <coughs> means that either your, your card has an issue or your motherboard has an issue and you would need to do some further troubleshooting but for me you know once i got all of those things right make sure that the card was installed properly installed uh, connected the thunderbolt installed the, the the cable for the thunderbolt header on the card and on the motherboard made sure the aic location group was correct made sure that the aic location was correct once i had all four of those things done correctly then the card just works 
Thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Cheers.